Welcome to the Lawn Fix. If you are here to feed your lawn addiction, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the Lawn Fix. If you're here to feed your lawn addiction, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, welcome to the Lawn Fix. If you're here to feed your lawn addiction, well, you know how it goes. Uh, we are beginning of August and today I'm going to be applying my last round of fungicide. If you come over here, I did write down that I was gonna write, uh, put it down on the seventh, but I'm already starting to see outbreak in the in the lawn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it today. And I'm also gonna show you what I'm gonna be putting down. I'm going to be adding an additional third fungus treatment. I'm gonna be putting down propaganazole, some azoxystrobin, and some of my methanoxin. So methanoxin is kind of an expensive product and it's it's basically just for one particular type of disease that it works well with and that's pythium blight which is something that I had last year pretty bad and now that we are in the favorable conditions with this weather I'm going to be putting down a third round of, of this. So these three ingredients I'm also going to be putting down some humic acid um, both as a chelator, and if you don't know what a chelator is, is that it makes the nutrients that are in the ground already available to the plant quicker, and um, it's also going to add as a sticker. Uh, if you ever use humic acid, you know that this stuff stains just about everything, so I'm going to take it to my advantage, and it's literally going to stain the, the leaves with the ingredients I'm going to mix with it, and the purpose of it is so that um, it can stay can work more effectively. Well, let's take a look at the lawn. So, considering we are August, it's not looking bad at all. If I'll, sh I'll throw in some footages right now of what this looked like last year. And on the side here, um, had some pretty bad break um, of a uh, fungus, especially down the middle. So, the great thing about this, oh, say hello. This is my stepfather. Hi. He looks younger than I do. <laughs> um, so he's going to be helping me film. I did have some disease outbreak. The good news about this is that I know exactly why this was caused. So I can prevent it for next year. This, the irrigation uh, was throwing to this tree here. And it was not, it was collecting a lot of water down here. And also a lot of the runoff from this corner. So I had a lot of dieback on this area. I have a huge outbreak of Bermuda somewhere around here. So when it comes down to seeding, I'm gonna have to kill it off. There's no real way, good way to get rid of Bermuda other than just killing it off. This whole section was, by mid-July, was already dead. But we're doing pretty good. But what I wanna show you is the yard. Not looking bad at all. Now the yard last year, about mid, July, it was, I'll throw a video right now, completely dead. Half of it was completely gone in a matter of a week because of uh, Pythium. So this, this for me is a major um, change. I've changed some things this year. I've not watered in, in uh, as much as I did last year. I did put down some 818 by uh, Carbon Earth, which is, I think is a main reason why um, the grass is looking as good as it is this year. So I do have some trouble spots that I want to show you. The good news is that all of this, I know why it's dead. That's the, the hardest part of, know, of lawn care is knowing why things happen. Sometimes you just don't know. So here, this whole section is gone. If you look up close right here, this is nothing but rocks under here. And when the, the heat hits, heat, heats up these rocks, it just cooks the roots right out. So in the springtime, I'm going to have to dig all this out and put some fresh soil in here. And another reason why there's a few dead spots on the grass, especially right here, is I used, last year I had a lot of trouble um, with seeding. I, I feel like I started a little too early and so the heat got to it and killed a lot of the grass. And I didn't want to buy another 50 pound bag from my, from where I was getting it, so I went to Home Depot and I got the cheap stuff. So my advice, guys, is don't buy the cheap stuff because it's it's crap. Most of the seeds didn't even germinate. 
a lot of it was weed seeds. Those brown spots you see right there, can you show that? Those brown spots, it's all dead poana that died, okay? Because I bought the cheap stuff. So my advice is go with a quality seed that has 0% weed seeds, not the cheap stuff you buy at Home Depot. It's there for a reason, it's cheap for a reason. It's because they collect the crappiest underperforming seeds that they do studies on and they put it in a bag and they give it to consumers. You want good grass, you, you should invest in good seed. So a lot of these dead areas are just because I use crappy seed. All said and done, looks a lot better. I couldn't be happier considering last year this was all completely brown. So let's come this way. All right, first thing you wanna do is fill it, put a little bit of water in there, about a quarter of the way through. All right, so like I've mentioned, I'm gonna be putting down these three and I've written down in the back the high and low rate of propaganazole. So it's one to two, th two ounces per thousand square feet. So I'm going to be putting down, uh, I used, like if you've mentioned me saying in the videos in the past that I do half rates of both of these uh, because they work synergistically together. They, um, the, the plant does not become um, immune to the fungus if you put two of them at the same time. So, but I think that part of the reason why I've been successful this year with fungus is because I've gone with a higher rate of this. Um, Propiconazole typically is, uh, tends to stunt the growth of grass. So you don't want to go too heavy on this one, um, especially in the summertime where the grass does not bounce back as easily. So I'm going to go the half rate, which is four ounces to the half 4,000 square feet. So let's Now I'm going to be adding a Zoxystrobin. And this is the one that I go on a high rate. It's a lot safer to go on a high rate, which is 0.77 ounces per thousand square feet. Panopsin, like I said, very expensive product. Um, I don't tend to use this uh, just one time a year. So that's why it's lasting me this long. And the rate for this is, probably pause that. I'm just... I should also point out that methanoxin is the active ingredient uh, for this. Uh, this is like the uh, off brand you can get. Uh, there's brands out there like Subdue Max that offers that, but it's like way more expensive. So if you want to buy a cheaper version, the company is called QualiPro and it's methanoxin. So the rate it's telling me to apply for full year application is as a preventative is 0.49 to 0.98 fluid ounces per, per thousand square feet. So I think I'm gonna go as a preventative, 0.5 times four. Alexa, what's 0.5 times four? Two, right? 0.5 times four is two. I'm gonna edit that part out. Keep <laughs> this stuff, it really settles at the bottom really well. So six ounces of this, humic, Looks like coffee. Yeah, look at this stuff. Rich. Use my handy uh, mixer here. Make sure it's really mixed in. All right. I might need help with this one. It's a little heavy. The last step is just to Oh, Jesus. Time out. <laughs> Give it a good shake. A little extra shake. All right, let's spray, guys. So the way you want to spray is just, um, you want to know where you've sprayed to. You got to mark it. And the way I do it is that right when I get to the concrete area, it shows me like a little spray mark where I last sprayed and then I move over a step and I go back down the other way. So you just wanna make sure you cover every area you can, as much as you can.
to the backyard. So I should also mention that this isn't a how-to video on how to calibrate your backpack fare. There's tons of YouTube videos on how to do that from professionals. Also wear PPE. I know we're sh in short supply of it, but this stuff is really bad for you. So you wanna make sure you cover up your face. I forgot to do that in the first few seconds of the video. That's all I got. Almost renovation time. If everything dies, shouldn't be that worried. I'm, I should be happy that it's lasted this long. Considering I've had nice grass for 10 months out of the year, it's not bad. Um, so this should hold back the, the fungus a little longer. And um, I'll do, I might do another video in a month just to see where we're at and see if it actually stopped the fungus and actually grew out. I don't want to anticipate this to grow back out only because, like I've mentioned, this grass is out of its element. It's not going to bounce back as easily in the springtime. So, um, Bernie, why don't you, uh, what, do you, what do you do? My entertainment and fitness company. I'm a dancer, choreographer, and uh, fitness instructor over in Miami. If you guys want to uh, participate and video and uh, virtual classes, come to my YouTube channel, Fitness by Fernando, where you have dancing, workouts, hit workouts, uh, lessons, cha-cha, uh, salsa, whatever you want. Subscribe to my channel, it's Fitness by Fernando over on YouTube. Yep. Look at him, he's still working. He loves his lawn, he's very proud of his lawn. He works, he works, he's a good man. 